safety of our four-legged friends is top of mind for many owners. Is your dog coming in? I wish. He's a little too old. He's taking I a rest, I it. suppose. It's too hot. NBC 26's Chris Lemo shows us, though, how the heat and humidity can make a dangerous mix if pets do exert themselves too much outside. At the Bellevue Dog Park, days like this are a lot less crowded than usual. Uh, there was just a couple dogs so far since we've been here. Normally there's probably a dozen at this time. Marcia and Tom Quatso frequent the Bellevue Dog Park with their dog Louie. On days like this, they try to pick cooler times in the morning before the heat of the afternoon. He's a <laughs> terrier beagle mix. So he's got a lot of energy, so if we don't bring him to the park, he's uh, bouncing around the house pretty good. If you do take your pets out today with the heat and humidity soaring, it's really important that you do have a water station or water bowl just like this one. Dr. Becky Kroll at Buddy's Vets in Alloway sees cases of heat exhaustion in pets during heat waves like this. She says there are several signs to watch for in your canine companion. Once they're done exercising, if they come in, you might actually feel that they're hot, they're not cooling down, they're panting, they might have respiratory distress. There may be vomiting, diarrhea, lethargy, and even, you know, fainting or passing out. The best thing to do if your pet is showing signs of heat-related illness? You need to get on the horn and get to your veterinarian. If it's after hours, there is an emergency center that you, you'll need to take them to. So it is an emergent situation because heat exhaustion and heat stroke can lead to so many bad things quickly. And while the dog park may be more empty than normal, it's a sign of the dog days of summer still yet to come. In Bellevue, Chris Lemo, NBC26.